there are striking, striking similarities between apes and man. Now again question is that what is ape? Uh, when particularly we are aware of monkeys, monkeys are also having various similarities between man and monkeys. When we are talking of monkeys, there are various type of monkeys. Out of that, one category of monkey, uh, they don't have tail. I am revising a category of monkey that is not having tail. If tail is absent, then that monkey is called as ape. Orangutan, uh, that is finding in Java and Sumatra, that means Indonesia, that orangutan. And second, that is gorilla, which is there in Africa. These two categories are considered as A. A means monkey without tail. Whereas the third category we find out afterward that is called as chimpanzee. That is also many times referred as new world monkey because it is found in America, America continent. So uh, prior to uh, 14th century, we were not aware what is America. No, no, now there are certain striking research work is going on, say for example, people named Viking, they lived in Greenland and they disappeared somewhere in end of 15th century. Uh, over 500 years they flourished in Greenland area. But uh, forget of that, otherwise we believe that uh, we, we means what? Uh, people from Africa, people from India, that means Asia and people from Europe were not aware of America continent till Columbus discovered it. So that's why this America continent we are calling as New World. So monkeys from America continent they are called as monkeys of New World. Now here the apes of America continent that is chimpanzee they are also uh, ape. Uh, many people are saying that Darwin says that apes are our ancestors. No, it is wrongly interpreted in biology. Actually, Darwin says apes are our cousin. Now, don't call your cousin as ape, but apes are considered as our cousin. That means from similar animal, one line derived as ape and other line derived as human being. If you observe ape, then you will find it is having striking similarity with man, but uh, certain differences are also there. Say for example, you check out our all teeth, they are having almost equal height, almost. Our canines, they are having little bit more height than the rest of the teeth. Canines means what? The pointed tooth is observed here, single one at this way, here, here and here. Four canines are present. Now these canines, they are having sharp pointed end, little bit bigger than other teeth. But in case of ape, they are so long that lower canine, suppose I am showing this way, this is lower canine and this is upper canine, they are having overlapping nature. Okay, so lower canine goes to upper part and upper canine goes to lower part. And so gaps are there in jaw. This is basic difference between ape and man. So uh, we are getting fossils. Fossils means what? Bones. They are almost converted into stone-like substance. From that we are getting these references that certain skulls, skull means what? This part. So certain skulls, they are having jaws with all teeth equal. We can say that is belonging to man-like animal. I am not saying yet man, man like animal or rather I am calling them as primate. What word we are using? Primate. So they belong to, belonging to our primate. Whereas uh, if teeth are having unequal height, that means canines are longer, then they belong to ape. In case of ape, forehead is absent. You can check out the skull. There is no forehead for ape, but forehead is distinct for man. Snout. Snout means what? This portion. In case of ape, this portion is protruding out. Whereas in case of man, snout is reduced or sometimes almost absent. Basic differences. Again, uh, various other differences are there. I am not going in detail. But uh, 
because of certain joints a man can stand in erect posture whereas apes are not able to stand in erect posture particularly the attachment of femoral bone that means bone present in thigh that is important so this femoral bone attachment shows that whether that animal is able to stand in erect posture or bending structure if you observe gorilla chimpanzee and orangutan they can stand on two legs that is called as bipedal mode of locomotion but they can't stand in erect posture uh, erect means vertically straight like man and therefore uh, this arrangement is also considered as important thing now here what are the fossils we are getting uh, they are getting all over the world but uh, certain important fossils are found in india i am revising the name of fossil uh, sir, telling the name of fossil that is called as ramapithecus uh, this fossil found in shivalik mountain range shivalik mountain range is a uh, part of himalaya so uh, from uttar pradesh if you are moving towards himalayan side then whatever the first mountain range a small mountain range newly formed mountain range is observed that is called as shivalik mountain range the earlier fossil uh, is found here having name as ramapithecus i am always having curiosity if name is beginning with ram then whether that is connection with our ram that is a lord ram or not the answer is yes here connection is there with lord ram because the person who discovered this fossil in india he was aware of story of ram and his vanar sena there is a team of monkeys and so he named that monkey as monkey of ram so in latin it is epithecus so i am revising the name of uh, that fossil that is ramapithecus what was peculiarity of ramapithecus it was monkey only or rather i should say ape only but uh, all teeth were having almost same height there was no gap that lower canine will go upper and upper will go lower so no gaps were found that was the indication that it is humanoid we can consider that as early primate of man say here we are having rest of the characteristics similar to ape say for example uh, chin chin means this portion was not that prominent then bipedal mode of locomotion was there but erect posture was not there uh, length of hand that was more that means fore limb was more than hind limbs and like that things they are resembling to a body was covered by hairs or fur something like that dense hairs like that but important characteristic that all teeth were having almost similar height uh, where we get this in shivalik mountain range in himalaya so this way we can say that human development was there in india also then onwards uh, these uh, primates developed slowly into different animals we are getting evidences that their brain capacities also increased there is skull skull means this upper part of our body which is present inside the head that is skull where brain is stored that portion is called as brain box that is called as cranium the cranium capacity of ape is very less as compared to man we are getting development into cranial capacities that means what what is the amount of brain that can be stored inside that cranium and from ramapithecus to cro-magnon man cro-magnon is place in france where man was uh, found from ramapithecus to cro-magnon man cranial capacities we are getting increasing in order that means step by step cranium size increase that means uh, weight of brain increase you are aware the intelligence of person is calculated not only on brain size or weight of brain intelligence generally calculated in the way that intelligence equal to mass of brain upon mass of body i am revising